What is up guys, George back here. Today I'm gonna show you how to crack open the backup password you made on uh, iTunes backups for your iPhone. So, let me show you the scenario. You forgot the password for the backup of your important data and you cannot retrieve it back. So, let me show you. If we go in iTunes, we have here the uh, iTunes interface and I'm waiting for my iPhone to get connected. Also, this method works for all devices and for all iOS versions. Okay, I gotta go here. And as you can see, I have this thing checked out and um, I can disassemble it for the moment and show you how it goes. So from the factory, when iTunes comes in and you install it on your computer, you don't have this encrypt iPhone backup checked and you can backup and restore without being asked for any password. But if you click right here, you will be uh, asked to insert a password. You will set one. In my case, I set cat for um, demonstration purposes. You set password and your backup that will be created now for this iPhone, for example, will be encrypted with a password that nobody else knows and you have to introduce every time you restore that backup. So Apple thought at this um, at this thing as a great method for keeping your um, backed, backed up information safe, but sometimes you, have, you actually forget your own password. So using this iPhone backup unlocker standard application from Tenorshare, we can attempt to use the um, the um, brute force attack in order to break into the password. Now, prepare yourself, this is a very time consuming task and the bigger the password is, the more time will require. In, uh, in order to, uh, to keep you updated with the information about this program, I wanna tell you that there is no other option right now. So, there is nothing in this world that can crack open a password instantly. The brute force method means trying a few words, trying a few numbers, trying a, another few words, another letters, numbers, letters, numbers, words, and so on, until you get a matching pattern. So this is why, what um, happens. So prepare yourself for a time consuming task. But fortunately, the application is very accurate and I managed to get my password back with this application. So the application is free, but if you want to use a dictionary uh, attack, to find the whole password, you have to uh, to buy the uh, full version of the app. And also, if you want to get uh, things faster using the GPU acceleration, will uh, will also cost you. But if you want to use the uh, trial version like I do right now, that is a free uh, version, and you can use it in order to grab your password. So you can select a backup file. Select the one with the padlock, of course, which means it's, it's um, locked. We'll say the password unknown, complexity very high, I don't guess. And you have three different options right here. Brute force attack, if you don't know nothing about your password. If you don't know if your password has numbers, letters, capital letters, or something like that, you can select this method or this method, which means dictionary attack. Dictionary attack will basically try all the worlds, the, the worlds, <laughs> sorry, or all the words from the dictionary and we'll try to match something with your password. For example, if my password is cat, will be very easy and very fast for this dictionary attack to find my password. But if I don't know something about my password, I can select brute force attack. The brute force with mask attack is something much complex, but it's much useful if you know something about your password. For example, if you know it, if it contains numbers or if it's bigger than or smaller than. You go to settings and you can have a minimum password length and maximum password, uh, maximal password length. So if you know your password is bigger than six uh, characters, you can go and increase this thing. Mine is not, and I'm pretty sure about that. So mine is, key at cat three and the minimum password will always be one if you don't know with exactity character range options is very helpful for you so if you know your password doesn't have any uppercase letters you can disassemble it and make the application work faster because it doesn't have to test uppercase letters when your your password doesn't have them 
or and uh, also if you if you are pretty sure that your password doesn't contain special symbols you can disable them too you can do the same for numbers or for this one in my case i'm going to leave numbers and lowercase letters and i'm going to click ok and start it will start verifying all the possible passwords as you can see the search speed is 400 passwords per second the passwords checked are here, total time elapsed uh, is here, and you can have this little check right here, which means shut down your computer automatically after password recovery. If the password is found, a folder named password in the installation directory is created. And of course my window will shut down because my password was found, but I'm going to stop this. Shut down A. Okay, and log off cancelled because of course it did found my password. Now, if it finds your password, you have the uh, the first two letters from it. It's enough for you to actually get it, to actually remember the password from the first two letters. But if you want the full password, you can go and get the full version of the application. Now, don't get me wrong, the application is paid, but if you have something very important on your phone, that you really have to get, for example, some photos that you can never get from anywhere else, or some documents, or some numbers, and something like that, paying uh, $20 for a full uh, full license for this application is is good. And also, by getting the, uh, the full version, you actually get the um, GPU acceleration and that dictionary attack, to work faster and you will actually get your password very very fast. So what's the idea of this? This helps you a lot if you want to remember at least the first letters of the uh, the password. Of course I'm not sponsored to promote this application, I'm, I'm not partnered with uh, Tenorshare at all, but I used this application in order to grab my password and I managed to remember it from the first two letters. My password was HERO and it gave me HE, which of course um, flashed my mind and I remembered the, uh, the password. This is basically uh, how far you can go. There are a lot of applications like this, but all of them are paid. So uh, this one is the best you can find because it gives you the first two letters, even if you don't pay for the application. And uh, this is, as I said, as far as you can go on password finding. As you could probably see, my password was found very fast, relatively, and the application does a great job, so it's it really worth any uh, dollar you pay for it. And yeah, thanks for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Keep in mind that on this channel I keep you updated with anything iOS related and iPhone related in general. And till the next time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and I'm gonna catch you up in the next video. Goodbye!